Hey guys, Ash here from CurseForward.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the Xperia Z's launcher for any Android device that you might have that's running Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.3 or higher. Uh, so guys, currently uh, for, the, for demonstration purposes in this video, I'm using a Galaxy S3 that's running uh, Jelly Bean. So again, it will work on any device with Android Ice Cream, uh, Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.3 and higher. And uh, the prerequisite here is that the device you're using uh, must be rooted and you need to have a custom recovery installed uh, like Clockwork Mod Recovery. That's what I have on my Galaxy S3. So in case you guys aren't rooted, you can, uh, uh, if you have any of the devices that I make videos on, I've got uh, root tutorials for all, so just check out my channel. And if there's anything else, you can uh, check it out from uh, XDA Developers Forum. They have uh, root tutorials for all, so check that out. Another thing to note here guys is that the Xperia Z launcher that we are going to be installing will not replace your existing launcher. So over here with the Galaxy S3 I have TouchWiz on it. It's not going to replace TouchWiz, it's just going to be another another launcher that you can choose between. Alright, this is the, this is the same uh, regardless of what uh, Android device you have. Alright guys, the first thing you do is head on over to the da download section in the description and click the link there. And that will take you to this thread uh, in XDA forums. So just scroll down and you will find uh, the latest version available. Right now it's 3.50. Uh, if you have a later version, just go ahead, hit that link there, and that will take you to the post. Alright, guys, that's shots of the XPRZ launcher. So, guys, we've got these options over here. Let me just zoom in a bit the first one is auto rotation enabled versions and then you have auto rotation disabled versions the difference here is nothing but if you have a phone in general when you have your launcher when you're holding your phone uh, on the home screen with the launcher you don't have auto rotate enabled usually so as you if you're gonna put it in a uh, landscape mode it's still gonna the, icon, the icons are still gonna remain in portrait mode so that is auto rotation disabled versions Whereas for tablets, generally when you rotate them, uh, the uh, orientation changes. So if you're trying to get it for a tablet, use the auto rotation enabled versions. All right, moving on. So over here, you've got options of HDPI and XHDPI. XHDPI, generally, uh, you, you need to use this with uh, devices with high resolutions, like the Galaxy S3, the Galaxy Note, the Galaxy Note 2, HTC One X, Nexus 4 and so on anything with a resolution more than uh, more than uh, uh, anything with uh, higher than a 720p resolution like uh, like 1280 into 720 and higher uh, whereas HDPI is uh, in case you've got a device like the Galaxy S2 uh, with a 800 into 480 resolution or 960 into 560 and so on so uh, uh, as long as it's anything that's lesser than a 720p screen go with the HDPI all right, so just go ahead, download these files, and then also download the Xperia Z Home Launcher Widget Pack and the Xperia Z Default Wallpapers Pack if you want that. And just download it and uh, transfer it to the internal or external memories of your phone. All right, so I've done that on my Galaxy S3 right now. All right, guys, what we do over here is we, we now, uh, once we've transferred the files onto uh, our devices, we need to reboot back into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Or any custom recovery that you have so for Samsung devices with a home button it's going to be up volume home and power and uh, for most devices it's going to be up volume and power for those without a physical button uh, that's how it works for HTC that's how it works for the Nexus 4 uh, that's how it works for Samsung tablets so if you have clockwork mode recovery installed just hold up volume power and home and if you don't have a home button, just tap volume and power. And if it still doesn't work, just Google it, see how to get your device into clockwork mode recovery. Once you see Galaxy S3, just let the keys go, and there we are uh, in clockwork mode based recovery. So right now, just navigate to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card. I'm sorry, I don't have external over here, so I've got it on my internal SD, so I'm choosing choose zip from internal SD. And there we have it. So guys, again, you've got an option here. All right, you can choose whether you have a six and six and. 
you can choose whether you want to have a six into four app draw or seven into five app draw. Because uh, right now I've, uh, I'm choosing auto rotation disabled versions and XHDPI. And six into four means you're going to have six apps this way and four this way. All right, in the app draw, and seven is one extra app. So currently, I'm going to go ahead and choose the seven into four version. All right, so just scrolling down, that's the seven into four file that I downloaded and transferred early on. Select yes, install. All right, done. So again, going into choose zip from SD card. I'm sorry, choose it from internal and uh, going in and selecting the widget pack right now and hit yes install. Now that's done, going back and this time installing the wallpapers. All right, so now go back and hit reboot system now. Alright guys, we are up here and once we are up, it's going to ask you to choose between TouchWiz Home or whatever launcher you have by default and Xperia Home. So let's just select it and hit just once for now. And there we are. The Xperia Z style launcher. Alright, so what we need to do now is go into settings and find applications manager, all applications and just scroll to the end and you'll find Xperia Home. So tap it and hit clear data. All right. And uh, just go back and it's going to ask you to complete action using select Xperia home and hit always. Okay. And uh, right now when you hit the home button, you will come back to the Xperia Z uh, launcher menu. You will not be given the option to choose between launchers. And if you want your old launcher back, just quickly head back into settings applications manager again navigate to Xperia Z or Xperia home rather and over here you can see that launch by default this this app is set to open by default for some actions so you clear defaults over here and hit the home button it's gonna give you the options again so right now I'm just gonna set it for Xperia home alright so uh, just pinching will bring up widgets, apps, and wallpapers. And that's widgets. Sorry. You can see the transitions there, the Xperia Z. Smart switch. All right, and again, tap and hold it. This time, go into wallpapers, and you've got the standard Xperia Z wallpapers. And just hit back again. So, there we have it, guys. If you guys run into any issues uh, from Clockwork Mod Recovery, uh, wipe your cache part issue. Go into advanced and wipe your Dalvik cache and reboot. That should fix most issues for you. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And before you go, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. The subscribe button especially. So that's pretty much it guys. And if you do want to help me out, use my links to Amazon from the description. If there's anything you want to purchase online and if you can purchase it off Amazon.com, just go through using my links. Every time you guys place an order, I tend to make a few, few cents to a few bucks. So that is if you guys do want to help me out. So uh, that's pretty much it guys and uh, if you want to stay updated on my latest updates and my latest videos uh, you can hit me up on Facebook, uh, Google or tw I mean Google Plus or Twitter. Again all contact details are in the description. And if you have any issues whatsoever you can hit, hit us up on uh, Gus for our forums. That's gusforward.com slash forums. And uh, for the full written instructions again head on over to gusforward.com. The link is annotated right up there and it's also there in the description. Uh, in case you guys are using a Galaxy S3, I found that the elegant theme uh, from the same developer who put it over this launcher is pretty good and works very well in combination with the uh, Xperia launcher. 
So if you use a Galaxy S3 i9 300, that is the international version, uh, click on the link in, my, in the description and that will take you to my tutorial on how to get the elegant uh, theme uh, for your Galaxy S3 that works really well with this launcher. So that's it guys, thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll see you guys soon with more videos. Till then, see you subscribed and have a nice day. Bye bye now.